Hello, my Gemini babies. Welcome to December. It's Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com. And before I get started on your December forecast, I just want to let you know that your 2019 special year ahead video forecasts are available on my website for purchase. And for all of my beautiful YouTube subscribers, if you click the link in the description box and enter the coupon code yearly at checkout, you will receive 30% off of the price of your videos. And they are professionally filmed, available on demand whenever you want. They are succinct to the point, talking about the most relevant astrology for you in 2019 and how to maximize it. So I hope you go check that out. Now, let's talk about December. December is this karmic wrap-up month, I think, for everybody. And I'm calling it that because we are really taking a good hard look and finishing up something important in the Scorpio house of our chart. And this is for everybody. Now, for you guys, the Scorpio house is the sixth house of work, daily routine, and health. And what's happening is we start the month with Mercury, your ruler, still retrograde. But on December 1st, Mercury retrogrades out of Sagittarius and into Scorpio and remains retrograde until December 6th in Scorpio, in your sixth house. Simultaneously, on December 2nd, Venus the planet of love, harmony, money, self-worth, moves back into your sixth house. Now, Venus was retrograde in your sixth house back in October, and then retrograded into your fifth house and went direct on November 16th. But now Venus is moving back into Scorpio and your sixth house in direct full force motion and remains there until January 7th. This is important. Because you are wrapping up significant lessons connected to how you have defined your worth, connected to work situations, the value that you're delivering, your routine, changes with your health and well-being that have had to be addressed. For a lot of you, it had to do with Scorpio ruled areas, the reproductive areas, sexual um, dysfunction or problems, or even just... Uh, gosh, emotional, you know, mental anxiety connected to your intimate life. That can affect us physically. And so I'm not saying all of you, some of you, that's what Scorpio rules. So I'm sticking to what Scorpio rules in medical astrology. And so with Venus now direct and Mercury, your ruler about to go direct in, on the 6th, it's like you are getting this last piece of information that you need to finally move forward and wrap up this particular storyline in your life. And it will either relate to your work environment, work situation, or like I said, a health matter. But the resolution is here. The karmic wrap up is here. The letting go of um, any kind of anxiety surrounding it is here. I feel like with work, it's it's really good because Venus moving forward in your sixth house strongly suggests that you know what you're worth and the people in your work environment know what you're worth because the sixth house rules people that you employ as well as your colleagues. So the people that you work with know how valuable you are. And it's almost as if they finally see you. They finally hear you. And you might have had to fight for that. You might have had to fight yourself for that because it's more about you declaring your worth out into the world rather than allowing the other people in your work environment to determine or define your worth and your value. And I think that was a big lesson for you guys over this retrograde period but while Venus was retrograde. And for the first part of December, while Mercury's retrograde, it's, it's just this aha download moment where you're able to say, all right, I got this and I'm moving forward and you're going to be even more successful in your work life. This could be a financially favorable month for you because of that, that shift in your own mindset. 
especially if you're a freelancer and you write your own paycheck. I do see money for you this month. So I like this for you a lot. And I want you guys to pay attention to what's happening right around the 18th of the month because that's the day when Venus will get to the degree that she originally turned retrograde back on October 5th. So now, by the 18th of this month, she will pass that degree in direct motion. And that signals the end of this storyline for you. You've, you're ready to move past it now and move on and, and embrace new experiences. Very positive. So now, what else is happening for you guys is a gorgeous new moon in your partnership sector on the 7th. I cannot tell you enough how beautiful this new moon is. It is next to Jupiter, which moved into your partnership sector last month, and we talked about that in the November forecast. But the fact that the new moon is there in the same area of your chart is stimulating Jupiter's goodness. It's bringing the, the opening for Jupiter to start delivering his promise to you in your seventh house. And so for a lot of you, this is a time where you're going to make a new alliance in a committed form, business or personal or both. If you're in a business where you see clients, your clients are going to just, I mean, flourish. You're, you're really going to prosper in client-ruled businesses. If you are thinking about taking on a business partnership, I want you to know that everything suggests, remember I'm not looking at your personal chart, but everything in your solar chart suggests that this is an auspicious alliance, that this person has your best interests at heart and the best interests at heart of your mutual vision, what you're both trying to achieve together. So you can trust this person. You can Rest easy knowing that there will be success in this collaboration, in this partnership, in this alliance. Now, in terms of your personal life, a lot of you are making commitments. So if you've been dating someone, you now know that you want to take that relationship to the next level and make some kind of commitment. And it depends on where you are now. It could be going exclusive. It could be moving in together. It could be getting engaged. It could be getting married. This is going to be a big marriage year, a big commitment year for Gemini's because Jupiter is in your seventh house until December 2nd of 2019. So a lot of you, a lot of you are not only meeting this inspirational, amazing person who's going to lift you up and expand your horizons, but you're going to make a commitment to this person. And it is very possible that towards the end, middle to end of December, you're making some kind of commitment to someone. And it's good. So do it. Okay. So now, let's go back to finances. Give me a second. I want to go back to finances because on the 22nd, we have a full moon in your earned income sector. And this full moon is really important because it's at a degree in astrology. It's a critical degree, zero degrees of cancer. And zero to two degrees of any cardinal sign, Aries, Cancer, Libra, or, or Capricorn, it's known as the Aries point. And you could Google it if you want more information, but essentially it, it, it thrusts things out into the public in some way. And it's visible. And while a Cancer full moon is more about security and, and protecting one's nest and one's shell, really, it's really not going to be possible to remain um, under the radar with this full moon. Emotions are out in the open. And for you, because this full moon falls in your second house of earned income, there is some kind of financial fulfillment that's coming out that you're going to feel and you're going to take advantage of. And it's really good. I really like this full moon. So, the fact that I talked about your sixth house energy and how good that was for you financially because you are, you're basically writing your own ticket now and you're, you're, you're not allowing anybody else to determine your worth. Well, by the time this full moon happens, you're seeing the fruit of that. You're seeing the power of you 
being true to your talents and abilities and releasing them out into the world and how that can translate into money, dollars and cents. Very beautiful. So we're going to end the month, Gemini, with Mars, the planet of assertive drive and ambition, moving into your social 11th house. And this happens on December 31st. So it's literally your New Year's Eve present. <laughs> and when Mars goes into Aries in the 11th house, you are socially stimulated. You're going to start the new year very motivated to create new connections, to forge new alliances, to network. And you're doing it in, in a leadership role. You're taking a leadership role when it comes to this networking. So it's really beautiful, strong energy. Okay. You will be, you're a force to be reckoned with when it comes to your social circle as we end the month and go into January for sure. And you might be launching something 11th house related that is entrepreneurial. And this could be anything from a website, podcast, a social media campaign, a webinar, a YouTube channel, 11th house connects to technology. So that's why I'm going in that direction. Now, the 11th house is also your hopes, wishes, and dreams. And so you're ambitiously pursuing the fulfillment of an important hope, wish, or dream as the month ends and we go into January. So it's amazing, amazing. So Gemini, lots of wrap-ups in, um, in December. Lots of tying up loose ends so that you can move forward in a really productive and lucrative direction. And I hope you enjoy December. Happy holidays to everybody. I love you all. And I will see you next year.